You guys, this is the epitome of Christmas break. Look at him in his pajamas in the freezing cold, wanting to play with the RC car. This is the part of Christmas break that I do not love. We leave our toys out, we play with them, we play with them, and now it's like, okay, it's time to put everything away, but where are we gonna put all of these new things? <laughs> So today I am dedicating the day to getting Olivia's room situated, organized, and we have agreed we gotta throw away some stuff, right? It's gonna be a little painful. I go through the same thing with my own house, with my own things, my own clothes. Do you have to throw away like certain toys? No, we'll decide together, okay? Okay, I'll get the garbage bag. The first thing we're gonna do is start with washing the sheets so those are nice and fresh. And I'm thinking we're gonna put this over here. So Olivia said this freaks her out. I did not know that that freaked you out, which makes me a little sad. We cleaned out all the stuff that was here, which was a lot of stuff. We organized the special things on this shelf. We're going to move all of these clothes and put them up here. And then we're gonna put her doll closet in her closet. What if we put the shoes like up here, under the dresses? So I could just like... Mm, we'll see. It is very hard for me to get rid of these. They have holes in them. They're missing the things on them. Are you okay if we get rid of these? I kind of want to keep them just in case like little cousins come over. Like if Kate comes over, she You can convinced me. These I will never get rid of. Your little baby is going to wear these one day. Um, <laughs> seriously. I got these from Santa. I want you to get the stool and I want you to get all of your princess dresses that are stuffed in the corner and I want them all hung up on this side. This is where all of her Barbies go. Your dolls look so comfy over there. They're perfect there. We decided we wanna put this in here. There's enough room that this can be stay open. So you can leave that open or you can close it. Whatever doll clothes you wanna put in there, I'm gonna let you do that right now. And then whatever is extra, you can put in the bag and stick behind there, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll work on this. Okay. <laughs> After spending hours in Olivia's room, we got it mostly cleaned up. We're waiting for her bedding to dry before we go in and do like a room tour. So we're in here working in the boys' room. We got their table put in here that they got for Christmas, all their toys. And I'm up on Cody's bed trying to go through all of their things up here. And I know I'm just being, well no, it's not even being anal. If you're gonna have Legos, then you need to keep track of your little Lego pieces. And so it's just a struggle trying to keep track of like the extra pieces, so many little things and pieces Cody's working on finding me. I try to keep the instructions and the extra little pieces in a baggie because I don't want to keep the box because, I mean, I probably should. My brother has all of his boxes, but it takes up a lot of room, and so I put them in containers in a baggie because it takes up so much less space. I don't know. I don't have a good way of doing it. <laughs> Cody, now that we've cleaned up your room, are you going to be able to keep it clean? Yes. I highly doubt that. I think that these rooms are gonna stay clean for like a minute. So we have all of Boston's Paw Patrols. It's not like aesthetically pleasing, but it's fine. He plays with them literally every day, so it's fine that they're on the floor. This is my favorite thing that you got, Code. I wanted that to like be up there because I don't like his Legos mixed with mine. Oh, you don't like his Legos mixed with yours. See how nicely your bed is made? This is how nice I want you to make it every day, okay? I did not know you were gonna put this down here. I know. We have all of the other Legos that Cody has made up in his window seal. Cody, you are the Lego king. Yeah, At least I'm he's working on it. A little bit Lego king. You're just a tiny Lego king. How about you be the Paw Patrol king? Yeah. I don't have Paw Patrols. <laughs> the Air Patrol! <laughs> Um, wait, what, wait, excuse me, what did you just say? Joel, I wish you were helping clean instead of just making a mess. Oh, I feel like you open one thing, you open a can of worms. This is super fun. What? Fun? I think it's fun. I really do think it's fun that we're going through all of our stuff and getting it clean. It's so much fun that I don't even think, I don't even know why people go to Disney. I just clean your house. Are you just as hot as I am? <laughs> Pretty hot too. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the Olivia Helene room tour? We are going to show what we have done. And we need to write Santa Claus a letter and tell him that you literally have no more room in your bedroom for one so tiny what? thing. We have a basket of all of Olivia's stuffed animals because we went through them and we couldn't find any that we could get rid of. They were all just too special, right? Yep. <laughs> 
we're going to come back to this because we want to show them every single thing in it. She has her oven in her fridge and all of her fun like Hawaii things that remind her of Hawaii. Her little American Girl doll table. This is, well it's like a dollhouse bookshelf kind of thing. Is that not so beautiful? All of her pretty little things. We got all of her bedding washed. She has her seven dwarves. Olivia's picture of me and mama. And this is where her dolls are gonna stay. So when like friends come over, they can like sleep here because it's a double slide. Fun, and you can put them to bed and then you can go to bed, right? Your room looks so good. We went through the closet and got it all the way cleaned out. We moved a few things around and we're gonna keep her closet in your closet. That looks really good, Olivia. Thanks for cleaning that. We want to show you Olivia's dollhouse, but first we have to show you the outside because it's so cute. Those are faux doors. You can't actually use them. You know, it was like usual at a school. You have like a hanger. At school, they have lockers and they have like the spot where you can put like lunch boxes or when it's winter, you can like um, put your boots up here and when it's time to go, you can like hang down them. here. Down here. Yeah, this is like normal spot where you put your shoes. This is the fire alarm. Really loud. <laughs> and this door this you can actually go in. Okay, so we'll go in way. the school. And on this side, there is a bell. As you can see, every school has one teacher or a lot. This is the teacher. Here are like these cubbies and stuff. This is like the science cubby recycle bin. And we have a pair of glasses for the teacher. There's a fish in a bowl and there's a plant. Windows that can go up and down. Just it in, you can always put the light on. Normally we wouldn't suggest tipping over the fishbowl because that would just be a mess and the fish would die and that would just be crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Here's a cork board, here's a student, here's a desk. You can open up the desk and put some things in it. You can hear it. Here's some tape. It is real, so you can actually use it. I've been trying to get that out to work it. When it's lunchtime, she can have carrots and celery, an apple, and some vanilla, um... Yogurt? Yogurt, which that is like my favorite type of yogurt. Behind her, there is a light on the... Whiteboard. Whiteboard, and you can't draw on it, but it kind of is not really good. Yeah, you might not want to. There's like these cubbies that actually can open. You can put doll stuff in it. I put like tons of stuff in it. Here are some markers. Let's kind of come off. Literally, the teacher's desk is my absolute favorite. She has her drink right here. She has a picture. These are tissues. They are little paper tissues, a thing of markers and pens, and a pencil sharpener and oh, sticky what? notes. This. And it um, pretend works, right? Uh -huh. So cute. You can twist that. There's a chalkboard behind her, and there's a clock that actually can work. There's like a light switch. Mm -hmm. You can make that turn on. Cute. Here's a clipboard where you can write the student's name, write if they were absent, not absent. Mm -hmm. The alphabet to all the way to Z. Here's where the teacher might like put like papers or homework. And the last thing I want to show you is the teacher's top drawer and it has calculator, two pencil sharpeners, and an eraser. Olivia, this is the cutest thing this in the is like world. My, one of my favorite toys that I've ever got. Is she one the of the teacher, girls? She's the grandma, but they didn't know that she was the teacher. Oh my <laughs> gosh! So do I call her mom? Because she's the grandma? Wait. You could call her, you could call her mom because it's <laughs> okay. her mom. Okay. Mom, I think you need to go get um, your girl up for school. It's almost time to go. I love your skirt. You look Thanks. so nice today. Well, Get the girls ready for school. So does she stay home while everyone else goes mm -hmm. to school? Okay, I'm gonna go into my room and get some work done and maybe edit a vlog, so. So are these two friends then? Are these two friends? They're twin sisters. <laughs> In the book it says. Okay. <laughs> twin sister, come on, you're gonna be late for school. I'm already halfway there, what are you thinking? Come on, what are you so sleepy? If you wouldn't have stayed up and read all night, maybe you'd be ready for school. Uh, I didn't necessarily read. <laughs> what were you doing then? I was sitting up and doing homework. Thinking about your boyfriend. Okay, let's go to school. We're going to be late. We're sisters and we share everything. Did you bring enough lunch for the both of us? No. So are you going to go hungry then? I have my own lunch. I thought you brought <gasps> carrots Shoot. and celery, a yogurt, and an apple. Oh, I did. Oh my gosh, I'm such a silly goose. Okay, here's my lunch. Here's your lunch. <laughs> let's go in. 
<gasps> Hi, teacher. Wait a minute. So we don't know until the end of oh. the school. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to be late. Oh my late. gosh, okay. We're here, we're here, we're here. Oh, I, I'm having a hard time getting through the door, but I'm here. <laughs> don't need to be the two girls now, need to be the teacher. <laughs> I'm not doing a good enough job, okay. <laughs> oh, good morning, beautiful girls. Come into class, please. Oh my goodness, who does your hair in the morning? Do you do your own hair in the morning or does your mama help you? My mommy does. Oh, wow. She must be like an excellent vlogger, hairstyler. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm assuming. Is she a vlogger? Sort of. Oh, okay, just maybe not a very good one or popular one. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Stick with the plot. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just teasing you. Okay. <laughs> oh, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Oh, I'm so glad you brought your glasses. The other day when you came and didn't have your glasses, you couldn't see anything on the whiteboard. And maybe because the whiteboard's behind you, but you know, same, same, whatever. Okay. I need to put together a, um, hmm. I didn't really plan for the day. Oh, I've just been so sick. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been sick over the winter break. All my students got me sick and now I'm just- Excuse me, but can I get over? <laughs> oh my word, I'm so sorry. I thought we were on winter break, but apparently it's summer. Thank you so much for reminding me. Um, today we're going to be doing a science class. I want you to look through the microscope and we are going to study the flu. Wait, what are we looking at? Joel, what are we doing? Flu virus, I don't know. To learn. Here is a microscope and I need you to look through it and then you, you are going to take these and you're going to create, a, no, oh, oh, sorry, I thought you were drinking something. I was just a little nervous. You especially cannot be drinking anything. It's science class. Oh, um, honey, what are you doing? I don't think that that's such a good idea to pour that in it. Um, oh, what were you thinking? Oh my word, I need to open this um, window. We need to, oh my gosh. The fire alarm is going off. I need everybody to evacuate. I need everyone to evacuate. And say Mario. Are they playing Mario? That's Daddy. That's four. Is that Dad's four wheeler outside? We might be getting ready to go somewhere. We have Olivia's room done. We have. Cody and Boston's room done. We just have Lincoln's room that we need to get put together. But I don't want to put it together my yet. Minion. Your minion? Because I'm deciding what to do with my crib. Should I sell it? Should I keep it for when I'm a grandma and maybe have a bigger house and I can have a crib room? I don't really know. But he needs to go in his toddler bed. But we're not going to put you in your toddler bed until after the new year. Because once I put you in a toddler bed, you're going to stay in a toddler bed. The reason I'm not doing anything with his room yet is because I just don't you want me to close it? Because I just don't quite know exactly what I'm going to do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Move your hands. Peek-a-boo. Oh, bonk. It is now four o'clock. We have been working at getting the house cleaned, the vlog up all entire day, and we are ready to go outside, get some fresh air, and do something fun. Can you go on out and find Daddy? I find Daddy. This is the most beautiful setting ever. I'm being a lazy mom and I'm staying inside. Joel and his brother Jeff are out here with all the kids and they're doing four wheeler rides. Pulling them in the sled. Oh my goodness, Lincoln, he's coming to get you. Did you come to pick him up? Aww. <laughs> I love them chasing it, that's so funny. Oh no, it's still there and it's still gorgeous. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty cute snowman. Joel. I'm getting ready to whitewash you. No, you absolutely will not. I'm not scared of you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our vlog. We love you guys. We've had an amazing break and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.